In this video, I would love to show you three massive microbes. These organisms consist of just one single cell that is so big they can be seen without a microscope. Spirostomum. What looks to the naked eye like a small white worm is one single massive cell. Spirostomum ambiguum can grow up to 6 mm in length and is bigger than most multicellular microanimals. Just to visualize this incredible size difference, take a look at this. This is the unicellular spirostomum at 100 times magnification, beside a rotifer consisting of 1000 cells. Spirostomum can easily be observed with a normal camera lens in a petri dish. Time-lapse observation shows some interesting behavior. Under certain conditions, the cells clump together, pushing the spread out food particles together. And here is how it looks under a microscope. Spirostomum might be easily the biggest ciliate in the world. To reach this gigantic size, it relies on several macronuclei spread out in its cell. When threatened, Spirostomum can contract to 30% of its original length within the blink of an eye. The contraction signal is shared with all other cells in the vicinity, causing a mass contraction orgy. Beside its impressive size, the social behavior of Spirostomum is absolutely remarkable. Usually, Spirostomum is found in shaded forest ponds containing a dense population of water snails covered by duckweed. Spirostomum is harmless to humans. It feeds on bacteria suspended in the water, growing on water snail poo. Let's see what's up next. Clostedium. The half-moon-shaped Clostedium is an alga growing up to 1 mm in size and can comfortably be observed with the naked eye. The individual cells move by excreting a slimy substance, a bit like a snail. The goo forms a blanket. When sunlight hits the Clostedium cells, they start to produce oxygen that gets trapped in the blanket, forming bubbles. The resulting buoyancy pulls the entire blanket up towards the water surface, like an air balloon. This whole effect can be observed with the naked eye in ponds or ditches. For better observation, an aquarium is recommended. The remaining question is whether this effect is intentional or just a side product. Anyhow, it is absolutely stunning to watch. So, how does it look under a microscope? Clostedium has a stunning geometry and an extremely active cellular plasma. It can easily be observed with time-lapse. Clostarium has an interesting organelle that crystallizes calcium, barium, or strontium salts and serves as an instrument to determine the orientation in space. It seems to work a bit like a gravimeter, allowing Clostarium to distinguish between up and down. Locomotion and orientation in space are quiet, unexpected behaviors in a simple green alga. Last but not least, the exception in the bunch. Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are an exception in this lineup. They are usually too tiny to see without a microscope, but they form long strings and massive biomets that are visible with the naked eye. The organisms secrete a gooey substance that literally glues them to the ground, forming a dense layer that can be observed with the naked eye. The bacteria cells are lined up in strings that are able to glide. If conditions are unfavorable, these bacteria try to escape to a safer place. You're witnessing the cyanobacteria Shawshank Redemption. This migratory behavior can be observed very well in containers like aquariums. To visualize locomotion, all footage has been sped up 60 times. These unfortunate cyanobacteria here try to escape in a massive spiral of despair. Escaping is definitely not an action usually associated with bacteria. This is definitely mind-blowing. And here is how they look under the scope. This life form is among the oldest on planet Earth. Cyanobacteria produce massive quantities of oxygen and are important primary producers in the food web. They contributed in the creation of the ozone layer and are the indirect ancestors of most photosynthetic organisms, like plants and algae. They can grow basically in all environments, even hot springs above 40 degrees Celsius. I hope you enjoyed this little journey into the world of massive microbes. Thank you so much for watching. 
Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious.